Hey, second grade, Miss Rebuck here. I hope you guys are all staying healthy and doing well and know that we all miss you guys so much. So today, we're gonna review some addition story problem strategies and then we're gonna solve a problem together. Um, I know this is backwards, you're seeing it backwards right now. Um, I will, and Ms. Gates and Ms. Holbrook and I will be posting this on our website so you guys will be able to see it correctly. Um, there are three strategies when we're solving um, story problems for addition. Hopefully you remember that. They are add by place, break apart, and open number line. Add by place is when we um, break apart both numbers by how many tens and how many ones, and then we add the two tens together. So for this one, we add 20 and 20 and we get 40, and then we add the two ones together and we get three plus one, which is four. And then after we add the tens and add the ones, we add those two answers together. So for this one, we would add 40 plus four and we get 44. So that's the answer using add by place. When we do this using break apart, remember in break apart, we bring the first whole number down and we only break apart the second number. So how many tens are in 21? There's 20 and there's one one in 21. We're gonna add the tens to 23, which would be 23 plus 20 equals 43 and then add the ones, 43 plus one is 44. And as you can see, we got the same answer. Um, and then the last strategy, open number line, sometimes we call it empty number line. Um, we break apart 21 again, so 20 is how many tens in one one. And we're gonna, because we're adding, we're gonna start on the left because we're gonna go forward and not backwards. So we're gonna start with 23. And because there are two tens in 21, we're gonna do two big jumps, adding 10 each time. So 23 plus 10 is 33, and 33 plus 10 is 43. And we're not done yet because we have to add the one still. So we're gonna add a one little hop and add one. 43 plus one is 44. We will be, your teachers and I will be sharing um, 120 chart for you guys on our website. So if you guys need that to help you with adding the tens and the ones. Um, but that was just a review of the strategies. We are going to solve the story problem now together just as a review. And then on our choice board this week, you'll see there are, there's an, a story problem and some addition problems that you guys can use these strategies to solve and share with us on Seesaw if you would like. So the problem says, Joshua had some crayons. He gave some, he gave 12 crayons to Olivia. Now he has 24 crayons. How many crayons did Joshua start off with? Well, the first thing, remember we do UPSC. UPSC stands for understand, plan, solve, and then check, solving it a second way to make sure we get the same answer. Okay, so I'm gonna underline using a blue marker the important information to make sure I understand the problem. So Joshua had some crayons. We don't know how many some is, okay? So let me put a box around that. He gives, 12 crowns away to Olivia. Now he has 24 crowns. The question's asking us, how many crowns did Joshua start off with? So we wanna find out how many did he start off with, okay? Now, plus or minus. So I'm gonna write this, he has some. So we don't know how many of that is, so that's gonna be a question mark. And he's giving away, which means it's a subtraction problem so far, um, minus 12, and he has 24 left. But in order for us to find out what this total, what this number is, the missing add-in, we have to flip the problem. So if you remember how to do that, we're gonna do 24, flip the sign to a plus, so it's gonna be a, an addition problem, plus 12 equals blank. So we just flipped these two places and we made the, the minus sign an addition problem instead. So now this is where we're gonna use these strategies to solve the problem. You don't have to use all three of them, you can use two of them to solve this. Use the two that you feel most comfortable with. So to solve the problem, I'm going to do add by place. So I'm gonna write the problem down here. 24 plus 12 equals blank, okay? And then to do that, I'm gonna do add by place. So I need to know how many tens are in 24. And I know there's two tens, which would be 20, and there's four ones, and then there's one 10 and 12 and two ones. Now remember, the first thing I have to do after I do that is we have to add the tens together. So I'm gonna add 20 plus 10 
which equals 30. And then we're gonna cross those out because I already added those, so I was a glare. And then I'm gonna do four plus two to add the ones, which equals six. And we're not done yet. We have to do add these two numbers to get our total. So 30 plus six equals 36. So I'm gonna write 36 here, but we're gonna solve it a second way just to make sure we get the same answer and we didn't make any mistakes. So let's see. Let's do, let's do number line this time. So I'm gonna write the same problem right here. 24 plus 12 equals blank. And I know that there's, we've already said there's 110, sorry. There's 110 and two ones. Draw the number line. And I'm gonna start on the left side because it's an addition problem. So I'm gonna write 24 here. And there's only 110, which means we only have to make one big hop. Now, 24 plus 10 would be 34. Cross that out. And we're not done yet. We still have to add the ones. Now for this one, there are two ones. So we're gonna do plus one, which is 35. And we have to add the other one, which would make it 36. And it looks like we got the same answer. So I'm gonna put a check mark here. And then down at the bottom, it says Joshua started with blank crowns. He started with 36 crowns. And he, so he gives some to Olivia and he has 12 crowns left. Or he gave, no, he started off with some crowns. He gives 12 to Olivia and he has 24 crowns left. And we found out that he started off with 36. Okay, so here's a close up. I know it's a little flipped. It's a little sloppy, I apologize. But if you wanna see, we will post this on our website and I will also post this on the website too and I'll have Miss Gates and Miss Holbrook do that. But if you guys have any questions, need any help, feel free to contact your teacher or myself and I'll be happy to help you. And I'll see you guys later. Bye.